Reborn. Hi, Richie. Hi, Sam. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Richie, tell us what we're doing here today. We recorded what, where, when, why, how, episode two, and it was over in 20 minutes. So you were like, oh, we have time to do another one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's what happened. And what episode are we doing today? I don't even know. I just clicked the link. It's oh, the Wandering Nightmare. Oh, all right. Okay. What is the Wandering Nightmare? It's a bunch of skulls, and then it's got little flipper arms, and it wanders around. And if you kill them, you get bloodstones. Mm-hmm. There's also a big one, and that one can spit at you. So what what does that mean, lore wise? I don't know. I don't know what they are. It never tells you what they are. They're just like a weird nightmarish thing that's come into being that has a whole lot of blood in it. Okay, okay, but they're in the real world, right? In the waking world. They're in both, yeah. Well no, yeah. they're in they're in both, but you you find the ones in the waking world kind of near where Yeah, Haribo? Yeah, near like nightmarish locations. The idea that they've like kind of come out of there. So yeah, so I'm thinking maybe. Well, I'm thinking specifically about Yahargul. You know how they have like cramped caskets and all that. So maybe these guys live in Yahargul and they're just visiting other parts of Yahargul. Well, you find them like you find them in the waking world, but they're they're less um. There's less of them than there are in the nightmare. And the ones in the waking world, they tend to be in locations that seem significant. Oh my god! Richie! Richie! What is their name? Well, Wandering Nightmare. Yeah, so they wandered out of the nightmare. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. They're just like wandering around. They're like, oh, where am I? I don't know. Better check the map. I can't check the map. I've only got flippers for hands. <laughs> ah, this map is useless. <laughs> okay, that's cool. That makes sense. Finally, an enemy that makes sense. I love this. Mm-hmm. And what is the difference between the little ones and the big ones? The big ones, like, spit at you. Uh-huh. And the, the big ones are, like, aggressive. The little uh-huh. ones, if you see them, they just kind of, like, slither away. But the big ones will, like, like they're significantly bigger. They use their tentacles to, like, whip at you, and they, they can, like, spit sort of poisonous stuff at you. So it's like if you try to bully the little one, the big one's like, hey, pick on someone your own size. Well, no, I think they attack you regardless. Well, no, no, because by the time you meet a big one, because you meet them later, right? Yeah. You probably bullied a little one. So this is yeah, karma. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just looking at them and they're like. It's hard to tell. Yeah, I'll show you what I think they look like. Blobs with arms or something. Something from Aldrich. Something like those crawling people that you find in the sewer. Like a bit of everything, you know? I'll show you what I think they look like. I think they look like these. Oh, yeah. The rocks in... mm. Yeah. Yeah. I can I can see the resemblance, but I don't know. Don't they also have statues in Yahar Ghul that kind of look yeah, like yeah. something like that? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, now you have problems. What? what? I don't have problems. The what? Scourge what? Beasts wear pants because they're fashionable. Good. <laughs> Here's a rock that looks like a wandering madness. Oh, I don't know. Like you're stretching it a bit much. Thank you, 
security. <laughs> they do look like the cramped caskets a lot. Yeah, that's what I'm, I was thinking. Yeah, hard yeah they look like they the look... cramped caskets. What if they're mini one reborns? Well, they kind of are. Yeah. I mean, you could say maybe they're like, maybe they're actually just dead bodies that have been reanimated by the nightmare. And that's why, like, they drop the blood because it's like a whole lot of people stuck together. So there's like extra good blood in them. Because mm. the, the cramped caskets are a really good way to farm uh, special blood gems. Yeah. Yeah. So actually, I like the idea that they were part of the cramp casket, but they were like, I have my own dreams. And they're just left. But they left harm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Serious fucking awful. <laughs> I, and I had this vision of like a like a wandering nightmare, you know, with a little bag on the train looking out, being like, I'm going to the big city, you know? It's like the opening of the Mary Tyler Moore show. It's like, I'm gonna make it after all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, okay, so... Why did you pick this, of all of them? There's, like... <laughs> there's so many enemies in Bloodborne you could have talked about. It's just, like, the thing that's that's just a replacement for crystal lizards. And it's never... No one... It, you could just ignore them and they make no difference. It's just a way to farm to, to get blood... To I... get bloodstones. But you can get those from just, like, killing enemies anyway. So it's not actually, honestly, that useful. Is something you can buy at the inside shop later on in the game. You don't even like after after about like three quarters of the way through the game, they're fucking irrelevant because you can just buy upgrade materials and you don't. It's not like it's not like Demon Souls where there's there's like twenty different kinds of upgrade stone that you have to get. This is just like the one upgrade <laughs> thing. It's the one up in all Dark Souls where the di- different crystal lizards drop different colors of Titanite based on the area. This is just, it's just all just old bloodstone shard. Oh, two twin. Oh, wow, bloodstone <laughs> chunk. It can drop three things. There's three things they can drop. That's all it is. And you can buy all three of them at the shop in the dream. Oh, my God. What? So if they drop it and you can buy it from a shop, then the shop is like their Etsy store. I'm hanging up. I'm hanging up. <laughs> Thank you, Richie. I just feel like they don't get enough attention, so I thought... This is not interesting. <laughs> I find them fascinating. I really would like to know their story now. But you've invented that. You're like, I would like to learn this. I'd like to learn more of the story that I've invented. <laughs> yes. If I can... <laughs> that's the song that's playing in my head now. What song is that? You know that one? <laughs> oh! No! <laughs> Thank you, Richie. We're not doing another one. Um, We're not no, doing another one of these. This is a general question. We don't have to go through. Oh, we actually answered where we find them is near nightmarish places. Perfect. And the last question is why? Well, you answered that. It's because they've left home, which is also a pile of skulls, to go to the big city and make something of themselves. Yes! Wow! Okay, this is officially, like, the best thing we ever recorded. Fucking hated it. This is horrible. (laughs) I feel like the Wandering Nightmare finally got the attention they deserve. I'd say they got far more than they deserve, but yes. (laughs) So we can actually we can actually ask people listening if if they enjoy no this episode. No one has listened this far. And <laughs> no and one has like, no one has made it this far. If you made it this far, please let us know and tell us if you'd like us to make more of these. Thank you. Richie, do the outro. <laughs> that was the third and final episode. <laughs> 
of what, where, why. <laughs> a limited series in which an attempt to discuss the fairly enigmatic being the moon presence then became talk about this just werewolf that's everywhere to talk about something that not even the game can be bothered explaining and is just a way to get items. And having fallen this far, we cannot recover, so we are not doing any more episodes. <laughs> Thank you, Richie. <laughs> Have a good one. <laughs>